It's amazing if you pay attention to all of the commodities, all of the products, all of the advertising that we see in our world today pertaining to the beautification of our flesh, uh, our body, makeup and hair care products and clothing and different things like that, all to dress up really this pile of decaying flesh. I don't have to convince you of that. You notice it just like I do. Sometimes you get out of bed the wrong way and you feel the pain in your back and a creak in your neck. We're well acquainted with disease and uh, different things that debilitate people. And we've driven by graveyards and we're reminded of death and that this body, every day that we live, is one step closer to the grave. It's just corrupt. It is. But I'm glad as a Christian that this tabernacle that I'm now dwelling in is not the best I have to look forward to. I have been redeemed, but one of these days I'll be redeemed. You say, what do you mean by that? I mean, I'm waiting on my blessed hope, that redemption to come. What is it? The redemption of the body. Here's a blessed hope and truth for the Christian, that you and I, when we die in the Lord, thank God we don't stay dead. We're not just lying in the grave somewhere. Our soul is not just sleeping in the ground, absent from the body, present with the Lord. But one of these days, when the Lord comes back in the rapture, whenever the sky rolls back like a scroll, the shout rings out and the Lord descends, He'll shout, the dead in Christ will rise. The Holy Ghost of God will help us lose all gravitation, draw us up to meet the Lord in the air. And in that rapture, we will receive a glorified body, a body fashioned and made like unto the Lord. Here's what the Bible says in 2 Corinthians. Corinthians, rather, chapter 5. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Here we just have a tabernacle. It is a temporary dwelling. But up there, thank God, it's a house. It's a permanent fixture. And we're waiting on that body where there is no disease, no decay, no corruption. There is no sin. Or there is no mark of iniquity upon it. But thank God we'll have a new body. You know, a lot of things in heaven make it good. But some things that aren't in heaven are going to make it good. Aren't you glad there's going to be no walkers in heaven? No wheelchairs in heaven, no need for these glasses in heaven, no arthritis medication, no shots or vaccines in heaven. We won't need any of that kind of stuff. All this, all, all the marks of sin, all of the effects of iniquity that are wreaking havoc upon this old body aren't going to follow us into heaven. I'm glad some things aren't going to resurrect on resurrection morning, but one of these days I'll have a new body. Praise the Lord, I'll have a new life. And I just want to encourage you, isn't that going to be good? Say goodbye to all these wrinkles and all these aches and all these pains that we have down here. And one of these days, we'll see him as he is and we'll be like him and have a new body. Trade out this tabernacle for a house, a building eternal in the heavens, not made with hands. I hope this has been a help in your Christian life today.